we had a great day at the Hooks for Heroes tournament. Plenty of fish being caught. A lot of big fish were caught too. All different areas. I mean, there was fish coming up from every reef around the area. We did pretty well. I don't know, we had eight keepers or something like that today. Fun times, we didn't win, but we had some nice fish to uh, over five pounds. Winner was over 10. <laughs> they had a big fish, big fish. Nice. And that kid went out by himself, it was pretty awesome. He had a nice one, uh, nine and a half. We gave him some nice Dexter products too. But all in all, it was a great day, Sean. Definitely. Had a lot of fun. All right, we're coming right on your piece right now. Fish on. Now to keep it up. Paul just caught one of these little chub mackerels. Lately, there's been a lot of these around our waters, tons and tons of them. Now, this thing right here is gonna go become a fluke bait, and I think it's a really good fluke bait too. So, with this fish right now, I'm gonna get four strips. I'm gonna fillet him, I'm gonna get Two on this side, two on that side, it's perfect. It's a real big bait. You can catch a real big fluke, hopefully, on it. Let's chop it up and get it on the line. I'm just gonna come down here, fillet him up. He's still alive, this guy, but. So this is just a garbage filet knife. I mean, if I had my Dex knife, it'd be a lot better. Okay, so there's your filet. And now I'm gonna do is just split this right in half. This whole piece right here, I'm gonna put on. I know it's crazy, right? It's big, but the old saying, big bait, big fish. And a double hook rig I tied up. Top hook and go right through here. You measure it up. You want to keep it all streamlined so it doesn't dance around. Uneven. There you go. There's your giant fluke bait. Put it in, see how it goes. So I'm here with Chris Walsh, and rumor has it you got the second place fluke today. Yeah, unfortunately, I was only able to muster a nine and a half pound fluke. But... Let's see what you got. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see the dark side. Flip that bad boy around. Wow. That is a beauty. Yeah. Well, being that you got the second place fish, well, you got school loans. You lost what? You lose about 17000 Uh, Yeah, about that. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take care of you. All right. Guys from Dexter, we're going to give you a hat. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And we're going to give you this cool. Shirt. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's not that bad getting second, right? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> you need your new friend in the process. Exactly. <laughs> hey, man, it's a beautiful fish anyway. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. Awesome. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. So we just finished fishing the Hooks for Heroes tournament. It was a fluke tournament. Hanging out with my friend Chris. Chris was fishing on his boat. We were fishing on our skiff over here with Sean and Paul. Had a great day. Caught a bunch of fish. Didn't make it into the leaderboard. Our biggest was a four and a half. Chris here has got a beautiful six pounder. The action was great. The seas were not so much, not so great actually. But again, fun day for a good cause. Next is the fillet contest. We got our Conor McGregor of fillet fishing right here with us. <laughs> How you gonna do? We'll see what happens. You know, Dexas got uh, some of the best knives out there, and you know they're sponsoring us to to, to show, put on a good show. You know, we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. Well, we didn't take the fluke contest. Now we're taking the fillet contest. Definitely gonna win that one. We're winning the fillet contest today. I don't know what happened. Eight guys, eight guys, and no one showed for the fillet contest. So I guess they were intimidated. Again, you are the McGregor of filleting. So with that being said, I guess you win by default, right? I would say so. <laughs> so Intimidation we're still factor. gonna fillet something though. We're definitely gonna fillet something, but there was no contest because no one showed except Sean. So with that being said, from our friends over at Dexter. Thank you. We got a couple blades for you. Thank you, Dexter. Some decals. Thank you, Joey. Pretty cool shirt. Nice. Awesome. 
Thank you. Know, you know, put them to good use, Thank obviously. You very much. No one fillets faster than you in uh, New York. <laughs> and if they do, please, you know, give us a call. We'd love to have a contest with You're you, but please welcome. show. And uh, that was basically it. No one did show, no joking, really. No one actually showed up today for the play contest. Everyone talked all the smack that they were going to show, but whatever. Still fun. We had a great day in the water, caught a bunch of fluke. Winning fish was over 10 pounds. But uh, we got some fish here right now. I'm not going to go get you first. Let's get that straight. I like my fingers. But we'll do some work here. How about, you think you can beat your own time? What if you go against yourself? I'll give it a shot. Want to try beating your own time? And also, there's a lot of hype now about sea robins. Everybody's talking about eating sea robins and everything. So Sean's going to show you guys how to fillet a sea robin now, since this is the new thing to eat, the new delicacy, sea robin. What about you, Frank? You eating sea robin over there? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so Sean's going to show you how to fillet these up. And then you could use all your wonderful recipes that you see all over the internet right now with everybody cooking sea robin. Yeah, so let me just rinse my hands off get, real quick. Let me just get the sea robins out of the way quick. Right, hold on one second. Let me just, you going to show how to do those first? Hey, just start behind the, the gill here. Give it a slice. Just hold your hand above the fillet. And just slide it down. There's your sea robin. That's pretty simple, actually. Very easy. The meat looks pretty white, too. What about skinning them? Skinning them, very simple as well. You just start at the skinny end. Just push your knife up, pull the skin comes right off. That's it. You got a bone in there too? Yeah, you got a little bit of a belly bone you can take out. Just take your knife, come down, and you can do your V-cut in here to get the center bone. That's your boneless sea robin filet. A perfect little thing for a little sandwich, whatever, a little filet, fry it up. Guys, if you like what you see, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next one.